Hey, Jeff Hicks from Real Wired, talking about indispensable appraisers. That's right, we're here to elevate the industry and bring back some enthusiasm into our, what we do. So today we're talking about why your appraisers leave, especially young appraisers. It's somewhat of a mystery, I think, for appraisers of why the old model doesn't work. So usually the old model, if you work in a fee company, fee shop, I don't even hate that word, but Let's take that back. No fee shop. Don't say a shingle. It's a, it's a business, right? So as you hire young appraisers or just new appraisers, they don't have to be necessarily young. How do you take them through the process? Is it, here's a PC, here's some old reports and go figure it out. That's typically the model and the rest is supervision. The reason that's going to fail, especially for the younger generation, there's a big disconnect between my generation on the very last of the baby boomers, which is 1964. But no matter what your age is, I think there's a mindset that the younger generation doesn't want to work hard. They just want to be where you are instantly without any work or effort. There's some of that attitude, but I think really what we're missing is their perspective of how they view work, which is way different than our generation. So the first thing is milestones right? When they come to work, when they first start out, whether it's a, an appraisal company or a bank, what are their milestones, right? It's not a set it and forget it. You actually have to say, what do you expect in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 days uh, to really know what they're shooting for? Just giving them work and saying, go work, put your head down is not going to work. You're going to experience churn going to cost you money where you train your appraisers and they just leave you for somebody else in 10 months, 12 months at best. So in order to avoid the, ch the churn, you need to give them milestones, what to expect in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six months, 12 months. Uh, I think a great template for this is Dr. Randy Flowers of SDS. And he has a nursing model for residential appraising to train residential appraisers. So what he presents to the new employee is basically a playbook of what to expect, which folds into culture, right? He's got the three trifectas of what it takes to keep uh, younger appraisers energized. So his model is based on the nursing model is you come in to his company and we are going to train you. We're going to pay for all your education. We're going to give you a supervisor, but in return, you're going to give me three years of employment. And it really has an outline of expectations. There's a three year window where they see the finish line and most appraisal firms are at a bank. It's like here, good luck. See you on the next zoom call or see you in a meeting. And that's just not going to work. The milestones is critical. They want to know where they're going. Yes. They're money motivated but they're also wanting to know where they are and how they fit within the organization, which kind of leads to number two, which is playbooks. Once they get there, how do they learn? Do they just walk down the hallway and ask somebody? You need to document everything with playbooks. And what is a playbook? Typically it could be a Google doc. It's process documented. So for example, you say, I need you to go confirm a, a comparable. How do I do that? Where do I go get it? What's a comparable? Right. So you want to create a playbook on how to confirm a sale, how to research it, how to put it together, how to write it, what should it look like and really just document it. Don't be that appraiser person and go overly technical. Keep it simple and be very clear on the document. Maybe you have just a few steps, maybe some examples. You might even have a quick video to show them, hey, this is how you go about writing up a comp, how you search an LLC, what have you. So the next would be of the playbooks, there's tons of them, right? Once you start seeing the world in playbooks, there is everything. Let's say I'm an appraiser and I'm, I'm a reviewer in the bank. Well, yes, they can take a review class, but how do you want them to review within your bank? What style of review do you want them to do? Maybe, yes, you can give them some examples, but you need to have a playbook of this is what to look for. These are the steps. And that really facilitates them knowing quickly the training. So you're not just doing the supervisor model, but you're actually giving them documentation to where they can follow 
and it takes a lot of stress off the appraisal manager or chief appraiser uh, or the appraisal firm owner, depending who you are, that you don't have to sit there and go, here's what's next, here's what's next, right? Because there's so much knowledge locked up in your head, but if you break it down into playbooks, that's an amazing, amazing facilitation of attracting and retaining that younger talent. You also need some technology. Old PCs and old software is not going to cut it. They, they expect tools, right? Especially this, this current generation, having just an HP 12C on your desk, that's not going to work. And lastly, culture. You hear that buzzword over and over and over. Culture, culture, culture. What does that mean? Culture, all, all that really means is, how are you doing? That you recognize that they exist, right? It doesn't have to be coddling, like you might think, from a different generation. It's more of starting with the three steps, where are my milestones? Where, how do I fit within this company or bank? What are my processes, documented playbooks of how to do things in the culture, especially if you're in a uh, largely hybrid or remote workforce, which most people are, how do I fit within the social aspect? Cause we're all social humans. So even if it's a zoom call once a week, or if you have uh, cadence meetings throughout the week or stand up huddles, which is quick meetings every day that they know you exist. You know, you ask them, how was your, you know, how was your weekend? You really get to know them as much as you can, because that's the critical trifecta of the three steps it takes to attract and rate retain appraisers at your bank or at your firm. So I hope today finds you well. Thank you. Bye-bye.